What's up YouTube, Yoke Gang? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna talk about another Ruger. Yes, the Ruger Mini 14. Very nice. Um, it's very classic looking and I think I enjoyed um, the way that look. Another cardboard box. So with that being said, come on, let's talk about it. Ruger on a roll. All right, do y'all know or have you ever seen a Ruger 14? Mini. Ruger Mini 14. I think it's a very nice looking rifle. I don't want to give you too much information right now. I'm excited about it, so I just want to talk, 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 talk. Kevin is busy, but I think this is going to be an awesome shoot. Okay, it is extremely noisy. We're going to go into another room. So let's get all the stuff and get moving. Okay, so like I said, this infamous cardboard box. Absolutely hate it, but whatever it is, what it is, it's what it came in. And as you guys can see, the rifle is clear. You can see me straight through. This is an absolutely beautiful, this is the Ruger Mini 14. This particular one, they have three different variants of it. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, we just place this right here. Before we get into that, let's go through this box very quickly. It comes with two five round magazines. Um, your lock, it also has your rings for your sights, for your scope, if you want to add a scope to it, um, which is a great addition. You have additional pick railing on here. Uh, I did say that two five round magazines. It comes with a lock and your instruction manual. Now, there's three different variants of this rifle. You get the the Ranch, which is the Mini 14 Ranch is what we're talking about today. You have the Mini 14, the Mini Trinity, um, as well as the Mini 14 Tactical. So we're talking about the Mini 14 Ranch. Very nice, very, very nice. I absolutely loved it when I saw it. I had to have it. Now, this has an 18 and a half inch uh, alloy steel barrel. It has your, you can see right here, your front sight is a post sight. It has a nice uh, grip for um, handling. I was kind of concerned about that tone. I was like, okay, is this going to get hot? But it's actually plastic. So that um, is going to work out quite well. Your charging feels very nice. Your rear post, your rear sight is a, um, a little circular post. And she weighs, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, seven pounds. So it does have nice weight. We don't have a big capacity, like I said. You get two five-round magazines. I wish it was more, but it was, it's okay. You have your sling adjustments here uh, for you to add a sling to it. But overall, this rifle in full length is 13 point. Is your full length on this rifle is... 38 inches so shorter arms no problem very nice trigger pull uh, there's still magazine in here but that's okay we'll talk about the trigger when we get um, into the range but thus far I really like the look of this Ruger mini 14 it is chambered in 556 NATO uh, we do have 223 Remington that we will be shooting but the simplicity of it 
is what I love. Very simple, very nice wood finish, straight to the point. I absolutely love it. The safety, if you take a look right here, you actually engage it through the trigger guard. That's probably why it wasn't pulling. Exactly why it wasn't pulling. The safety was engaged. So um, that is how you would engage that safety. So with that being said, yo gang, uh, let's suit them up and send them down range because I'm really excited. Uh, let's get going. Been a long way to the range, so we're not suited up yet. But let's go send them down range. Steffi, thank you for letting me know. very nicely and we are shooting at score this is 55 grain as you can see my target is a little wonky. and though and we're going straight iron sight Obviously. Magazine seemed a little difficult loading with five rounds, so it does have a little rock and lock style. So you push it up, in, and down. Okay, so I did take um, one round out of that. Let's get this first shot. It's really dark down there. Wow. That was so cool. That was absolutely great. Let me do it again. recoil but come back over here let me show you something okay how you take the magazine out you would actually engage the lever forward and it would pop out for you like so uh, let me look at the target it's quite dark down there I really can't see whoa we were way off first few shots and then we got inside the bullseye i don't like that you know we got to do it again right let's, let's get reloaded okay like i said it's very similar rock and lock style i can't load it i don't know why if you're telling me the capacity is five i should be able to load it with five right but not successful at that that bolt drops forward so nice. 
so nice. All right, let's get this first shot. Well, not first shot. Third magazine. Okay, they look like they're in the green. Switch this out. Look like we did pretty good. But but I don't see none out in the white. Let's check the target out. Oh yeah, much better. Much better for the lighting and conditions. We did great. We had two out. That was eight rounds. Iron sights. We're going to keep this target and we're going to try to go through as much as I can get you through with just four shots per night. But I hope you guys are enjoying it, because I am. Oh, it seems like it's a little brighter, a little further. There you go. Yeah, that's brighter, I think. Yeah, light again. So what, that's uh, 10 yards? About 10 yards? Mm -hmm. About 10 yards iron sight. Good job, yo. I think we still good. I think we still good. Let's see. Because that was two magazines. <laughs> you see when you start to feel yourself? I start feeling myself taking those shots. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I think one of them were already there. One of those was already there. So four shots. That's why it's important. Breathing, control. This, I mean, and everything plays a part in this shooting. This is not just going out there and boom, 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 boom. Yes, your breathing does make a difference. Very much so. So, we got more. Now we got plenty more. Let me know if you need help, okay? Thank you. And we're gonna send the same target back, but I'm gonna see if I can hit on the left side. All right, come on. My arms ain't the longest. What did you do? Okay, so I said we were going for the left side of the target. Let's see how well we do eight shots.
looks like it could be better if I can see. All right, come back. Okay, so you got two, three, four, five, six. Were these there? I don't remember. I know for sure these are new. Not bad at all. But these two magazines, I'm just gonna feel the trigger out and let those go. Really not gonna, not for accuracy. I wanna feel this trigger, even though it feels very, very good. for y'all who are just joining <laughs> y'all will probably say oh she can't shoot she can't okay these shots over here were intended we intended to shoot on the left side of the target because i had a quite a bit of shots on the right side so i just wanted to disperse them so that we can see what we were doing i hope this is my last target i don't know if this is going to be can i call this a mag dump unofficially so we have two five round magazines, four rounds each, and we are just gonna fill out the trigger. So I'm gonna send the target back and try to remember where those shots are. And see if we can stay inside that circle. There has to be a better way. And that is. Super. She's a cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Let's go talk about it. See, when you get excited and you just shoot to shoot, this is what they call spray and pray, this is what happens. That's why it's so important to become one with what it is that you're shooting. Breathe, take your time, and believe me, you know, feel the wall, feel, you know, get familiar with that trigger and your shots will be placed every time. Because we're not spraying and praying, we're shooting, right? So let's clean up, do a quick clear check. Rifle is clear, pack up, and let's go talk about it. Yo gang, what did y'all think? I absolutely enjoyed this. This is the only part I really didn't enjoy was these five round magazines. Hunting purposes, okay, fine, but range, we need a little bit more. We need a little bit more because it is such a nice shoot. Like I said, if you look right here, the rifle is clear. Super beautiful piece of, I don't know. I'm starting to feel a lot of these wood finishes and, and all this. And somebody made a comment and said, oh no, yo, you need to leave that old stuff in the past. Listen, this is where it started from. All these old looking rifles and all that stuff, that is the beginning of all this tactical stuff that you guys have, you know, that you're, you're able to buy now. This is where it starts. So yeah, I did have that same mind frame um, at one point, but when you can appreciate those old Westerns and you know, those, uh, those nice wood finishes on the rifles, um, I'm really starting to feel it very much. So I absolutely loved it. Oh, heat wise, it absorbed the heat very, very well. This plastic hand guard up here on the front and the wood works very well together. The rubberized butt pad here also worked nicely. It is a two, two, three, five, five, six. So it does not have this major kick and, and, um, recoil but the distribution in the weight of the firearm, the round, as well as the butt, everything just worked together so nicely. Ruger did a very nice job on this. I really enjoyed it. Your mag release is super soft. 
you put that magazine in when you're done you hit the release it literally just flies out by itself so very nice and the safety uh feature right here so if it's back it's on safe and if it's forward it's hot very nice i like it mm. we might need to look into some different calibers and see what we can do but i what i want to do though i want to go ahead and take this out um to the outdoor range and see if we can hit some steel with this i think it's going to be great maybe 50 yards the target back there was quite dark i don't know if you guys were able to see it when i let my target back um the light the some of the hoods that were uh, on the lanes so my visual of the target was not the best so um, I know I can shoot this rifle a lot better than I did if the lighting was better. But with that being said, yo gang, I'm just going to gas y'all up and I'm going to keep gassing y'all up until this merch hits. So y'all get ready, get ready, get ready. With that being said, yo gang, y'all know I love it when things work. And I love y'all too. <laughs> Peace.